The bigger the turbo, the longer it takes to load the boost. You can fix that though with the supercharger. Let's install the SEM90 supercharger onto the Camry. Turbo Camry, part 33. Twin charge! So here you can see I've got a M90 supercharger off a 3.8 litre V6 Holden. What we're going to do here is we're going to make a new manifold for the intake that supports the supercharger. I'm going to bolt that all up with a bypass valve and we're going to let this handle the air for the down low boost. Just so we don't have to experience as much lag before the actual boost kicks in. So we made this manifold out of 6mm and 8mm uh, marine grade aluminium and you can see there it's got that little throttle on the side, that's the bypass valve. Again my mate helped me do the welding because he's got a AC DC welder. This is the bypass manifold which allows the turbo to bypass the supercharger as you can see. And here's the supercharger on the manifold, all painted up, all ready to go on top of the motor. Making sure that we can still close the bonnet. And of course it needs a belt, so we made a belt tensioner. We're made out of 316 stainless, this one, so it's nice and rigid uses little pulleys to guide the belt uh, from where the alternator is, up around the charger and then back down around the engine. While I was at it as well, the car's been off the road for quite some time, I installed an electric power steering pump. And I had a sealing problem with the engine, so we replaced the front head gasket. Making a new intercooler, basically had to come in on a different angle, so we had to modify that up. And here's an almost finished product. I don't actually have a view of the finished product on my phone, but you can see there's the turbo, goes into the modified intercooler, into the little box, and then either into the supercharger, or around it and directly into the manifold. The little valve is controlled by a solenoid. Let's give it a test. So we're gonna get it to 10 pounds pretty much, but I want a little bit more. So we'll put a slightly smaller pulley on. That'll give us a little bit more boost, but I need to machine down the snout. I decided to do it by hand, which took a very long time. Without the supercharger, the original just the turbo. The next one is with the charger. This builds up boost a little bit faster. With all that, I'm trying to reach the maximum horsepower of the turbo, so. I guess I should probably install a bigger turbo. That'll be the next video. Bye.